I took the oath to uphold the Constitution of the United States of America. And my oath is to uphold the Constitution of the state of Idaho, which I did. And that wasn't easy. It wasn't popular with some people, but it's critical that um, you have someone willing to stand up and defend the Constitution, I'll abide by the rule of law. After two decades, Attorney General Lawrence Wasden's tenure as the longest serving AG in Idaho history will come to an end in January. If Mr. Wasden's name is familiar to you, the face might not be, that is until recently, doing debates and public appearances and all that while losing his bid for a sixth term during last spring's GOP primary. The next AG, Republican Raul Labrador, who won the general election last month. I bring up seeing Wasden's face because during the attorney general's 20 years in office, we rarely saw him or heard from him. He told us there was a reason for that. He and his staff never sought the limelight, opting instead to keep their heads down and do their jobs. His job as attorney general is defined by our constitution and statutes. But in broad terms, Wasden says his job was to give legal advice to the state of Idaho and its constitutional officers and represent the state when that advice or laws are challenged. Before he leaves his second floor office for a final time, we were able to sit down with the outgoing AG to find out how he thinks the state's attorney general's role has changed in 20 years. Our first question, how big of a role the political side of office plays? Well, there's every decision we make has some political uh, implications. And so the question then is, do you make your decisions by those politics or in spite of those politics. And um, what we do is based upon the Constitution and the statutes. It's not that we don't recognize the politics. It's that they shouldn't take precedence. They can't take precedence in decision making. And that means that you make decisions that are unpopular. Uh, you take positions that not everybody likes but that's what it requires to be the attorney general. Did you find that was an easier stance to take 20 years ago than it is now? I don't think it's easier 20 years ago than it is now. Attorney General Lawrence Wasden found that out. Here he comes, Clint Jones. From almost his first day on the job in 2003. I'd been in office maybe three, four days, and that was when the whole Boise City mayor matter came about. Two, dash three. Last February, Mayor Coles and his wife accepted a trip to the Winter Games in Utah. The transportation, accommodations, and admission to the Olympic events were paid for by Blue Cross of Idaho. The same insurance company that would soon offer health coverage to city employees. According to state code, that acceptance of a gift by a public servant was a violation of Idaho's bribery laws. The complaint charges Boise Mayor Brent Coles with two misdemeanor counts. The state attorney general filed those charges on Valentine's Day. I'm here this morning to announce my resignation as mayor of this great city. I mean, if there was ever a time to, you know, hide, that would have been the, the moment. But that wasn't the moment to hide. And that was pretty high profile. And highly charged politically with several layers. But there was only one way for Attorney General Wasden to go. Since he took this case in December, Wasden says the Attorney General's office has spent hundreds of hours investigating spending at City Hall. The five-month probe led to felony indictments from a grand jury late last night. I do not believe that there has been a single uh, unnecessary delay in this matter, and I, nor do I believe that we, are, we have made a rush to judgment in our preparation of this case. So I don't know that it was any easier 20 years ago. It's really a function of make up your mind to do what the law says, fulfill your oath of office and do it. I think the voices are more shrill now, perhaps. What do you mean by that? Like, I guess, what are you trying to say by that? Well, what I say by that is, uh, as an example, some of the decisions that I have made, totally in accordance with the Constitution, verified by the United States Supreme Court. Wasden points to a recent lawsuit filed by Texas against Pennsylvania and three other states, challenging their results in the 2020 presidential elections. My office, myself, has signed what's called an amicus brief in support of the state of Texas. And despite several Idaho legislators and Republican leaders making a case to support Texas. If it's true that the state legislatures were in charge of those elections, then there needs to be some rectification of that. Attorney General Wasden refused to join them. We received 30,000 angry phone calls in three days. 
by people who really didn't understand what was at stake in that case. And they, they had a viewpoint, but the truth is that federalism was at stake. That is, our ability to be a state was at stake in that case. And very angry, uh, a lot of vulgarity, a lot of uh, threats of violence, because I did what was right. Not easy, but what was right. Not what was politically popular, but what was right. And that's what I mean when I say shrill. You have given several opinions in recent years to the Idaho legislature when, when they ask you for it on bills that they are trying to pass. Uh, and they seem to have disregarded your opinions. I'm talking about like the transgender bill. The vote count shows 54 in favor with 16 against. The abortion bill. A majority having voted in the affirmative, Senate Bill number 1309 has passed the Senate. What is your take on that? My obligation, my duty, my responsibility is I take it an oath to uphold the Constitution. That includes uh, the duty to call balls and strikes fairly and squarely. I did my job. Your job isn't necessarily, it is not to please your client. Your, your job is to advise your client. Your client can accept that advice or can reject that advice. And sometimes clients reject advice. But they also then are informed and understand the consequences of rejecting that advice. Both of those laws remain tied up in court. In private, behind closed doors, do you have that idea, want to say, I told you so, when it comes to these things? <laughs> <laughs> You're a funny guy. <laughs> um, you know, I'm, I'm as human as anybody else, and, and you'd like to say, you know, I, I, on occasion they'll say, no, we, we lost that case because you're a bad lawyer. That happens all the time. The answer is, no, it's not because I'm a bad lawyer. We, we litigated the case properly and appropriately. Uh, it's because sometimes you have clients that want to reject your advice. My, my, my advice isn't policy driven. It's not politically driven. Sometimes it requires you to look into a crystal ball and try and predict what they're going to do. And that's an art. It's not a science. And so can you be wrong? Sure. I, there's tremendous risk, but that's what I'm required to do anyway. Look into that crystal ball. We've been pretty good at looking into that crystal ball. Have we been right on every occasion? No, it's impossible. But we win right most of the time. As a politician, how do you feel about the way politics are going in Idaho right now? I think that there is um, a problem, not just in Idaho, but across the nation, uh, where people are unwilling to sit down and talk to each other. Uh, there was a guy by the name of uh, Dietrich Bonhoeffer. He was a Lutheran minister in Germany in World War II. And he didn't like what was happening in his country. One of the things that he said was that the stupid man was more dangerous than the evil man. Because you can fight the evil man, but the stupid man, you have no defense against him. Because whatever facts you produce, he simply ignores them or says that they are not important. That's the real challenge. In the law, it's you determine what the facts are, apply the law, and the conclusion naturally follows. Attorney General Wasden chose to deflect any questions about his successor. Totally understandable, since it was kind of a contentious campaign last spring for the GOP nomination. Wasden says there's a lot he won't miss about the job that seemed to take up most of his life for the past 20 years, even on vacation. What he will miss, he says, is the service to the state. He told us there are three ways to end a tenure at the AG's office. You can leave the office by choice. You can leave this life or you can lose. Two of those options, you have no choice in the matter. But he says he will choose to leave with no regrets. Come January 2nd, he said he just wants to be able to wake up, look in the mirror and like what he sees, knowing that he is OK with what he did during those two decades because, well, he says he made hard decisions based on the rule of law. And that's the best he can do for the people of Idaho.